Well, you know, when we think about entrepreneurial success, that's why we're here tonight, to honor those that are great entrepreneurs, that's the Longs. And they're building something right in the heart of Kansas City that is taking Kansas City around the world. The best way to describe what Palmer Square does is they manage the debt of organizations um, that issue bonds to raise money for growth. Palmer Square is so important to the flow of capital. The work they've done to grow the assets under management is uh, substantially important to the U.S. economy. It's, it's important to companies that want to grow and expand and do acquisitions. And to be able to do it right here from Kansas City is just impressive. I love that they have that partnership, that partnership that is exploding on our scene here, that they really are leading the way about what a good team means and how you work together and how you step up professionally and personally. Yeah, I think the real key to their success is the two of them. The two of them together um, are an incredible pair. They both you know, play off each other so well, um, and they have very similar strengths, but they also have strengths um, that complement each other. They just understand their own vision, and they don't let little things get in the way. Really, it's a strategy for them, and it's a strategy of not about, again, what what, how does it benefit the longs? It's about what can we do as successful business operators to invest in our city in a manner that's good for everybody. I was fortunate to really get to know the Longs back in 2017. Uh, Angie Long was in the Woman Who Me business class with me. And then after that, when I received the phone call about, hey, we should start a soccer team or bring the soccer team back to Kansas City with NWSL. You know, women's sports is on such this verge of the next big thing. And they knew that in advance. And for them to bring that team to us, to kind of unwrap the present of support women's sports has been so significant for us in our city. Us having uh, the first ever women's stadium dedicated to women's sports gives me chills. Here we are as a, as a city that has done a lot of great things. We just had the NFL draft, we've got the World Cup coming up, World Champion Chiefs, and then for Chris and Angie and, and their partners to come and say, we are going to make history, not for the next two years, but for the next hundred and hundreds of years, to say we're gonna invest in women's sports in a manner that's never been done for, before, is super exciting. And it's just given our city this amplified opportunity to showcase all the great things we do. So, I mean, Chris and Angie, we owe just a tremendous amount of debt and gratitude to. Chris, Angie, I've had the great opportunity over the many years to be at these types of dinners where some of the greatest entrepreneurs in Kansas City, if not around the world, have been honored and celebrated. What a, a great night it is that we have a chance to celebrate you, both of you, for what you stand for, but more importantly, what you're doing for all of us in Kansas City. What a great honor and privilege, and you're so deserving of, of this award. Um, it has been a a joy uh, to be your friend and to be your partner um, throughout these years. Chris and Angie, I could not think of a better fit than for you two to be awarded the Entrepreneurs of the Year. Congratulations. You know, at the end of the day, Chris and Angie, I just thank you. Um, as a Kansas Cityan, as a father, as someone that's been involved in watching and, and cheering on women's sports. I think you're just getting started. I think there's a lot to come um, and I'm very proud of both of you. Congratulations. This year's recipients of the Kansas City Entrepreneur of the Year Award are Chris Long and Angie Long.